Welcome. Welcome to Love God Ministries. Welcome to Sabbath services where we sing the psalm, read prayers, take a deep breath and focus on God and God's amazing love for us. This week is pre-recorded and will be live on Friday evening at seven o'clock. This is Psalm 139, verses 1 through 6 and 13 through 18. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me and too lofty for me to attain. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in a secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I love hearing voices multiple voices reading psalm singing scripture and the cadence mm, the cadence of glory that is provided with each psalm is amazing i wanted to read a psalm for you that speaks volumes to me, especially this week. And I know, I know I have read this psalm before, and I will read it again. This past week, I gave a webinar on coping with COVID. And I always break things up into our five beings of who we are that creates wholeness. And I think it's very simple. So I use S-E-M-P-S, SIMPS, to remember and to help others remember that you are spiritual, that you are emotional, that you are mental, and that you are a social being. It is important to consider all these things and meditate on who you are as a person. Psalm 1. Happy is the person who has not followed the counsel of the wicked or taken the paths of sinners or joined the company of the insolent Rather, the teaching of the Lord is their delight. And they study it. Rather, always, day and night. They meditate on the word of God day and night. That person is like a tree, a tree planted 
beside streams of water. A tree that yields fruit. A tree that yields fruit by streams of water in season. Whose foliage never fades. And wherever it produces, thrives. And whatever it produces, thrives. Not so the wicked, rather they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not survive judgment, nor will sinners to the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord cherishes the way, the Lord cherishes the way of those who meditate day and night on the word. But the wicked are doomed, and those who meditate on the word, who believe in God, flourish. Psalm. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Surely the lowborn are but a breath, the highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together, they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love. And you reward everyone according to what they have done. And here is our second scripture, Psalms 111, Psalms 111. The Bible says, praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful he is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. All he does is just and good. And all his commandments are trustworthy. My goodness. They are forever true to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy and awe inspiring name he has. Fear of, the Lord. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Praise him forever. Amen. Amen.
The beginning of wisdom is revering God. One of the things that really brings me peace, that brings me light, and that fills me with life is reading melodic words that help my body find rest. We're going to be walking through Dr. Gloria Burgess' book called Sanctuary. It is a wonderful, beautiful book. It is my prayer that you will go on Amazon and purchase this book by Dr. Gloria J. Burgess called Sanctuary and walk through it with us. I'm going to begin on page one. She has indicated that it is okay to use her material. As many of you know, especially Zion members, um, Gloria is my sister. Sanctuary, page one. Experience, experience the eternal. In Keros, we are, we are fully in isness, fully, wholly, positively. Madeline Lingo. Sanctuary resides within. Sanctuary resides within. Sanctuary resides within. It dwells in our innermost being. The many blessings that sanctuary offers include respite, Rest, renewal, reignition, and restoration. Mm. This month we've been talking about love. It is the Love's Lyric series. We've been through Love's lyric is patient and kind. We've been through Love's lyric being humble and true. We've been through Love's lyric being believing. And this week, this week, Love's lyric moves on in a melody that brings Mm, hope. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 13. Beginning in verse 4 through 7, ending in hope. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things. Thank you so much for joining this Sabbath day. Thank you so much for joining and walking with us through this lyrical labyrinth of light, life, and love. I will close as I always do, reading the last page of Sanctuary. Blessing the light. Thinking of Lucille Clifton. May the stars that shimmer even now beneath the surface of our knowing light your way beyond the valley of our fear. 
May you open your arms and pull them back. May you open your arms and pull them back, assured that another's will shelter you from the storm. May you lift your face to the sun, sun that favors you always. And may you in your brilliance shine a beacon for others from here to there. Let us pray. God, you are the God of all creation. We give you thanks, Lord, for all that you do for us. And we give you praise, praise, praise. Hallelujah. For your light and for your life. Lord, we lift up to you the names of those who we have lost during this COVID season. And Lord, we lift up to you those who are currently facing struggle or ill, the Whitaker family. Brian Kibabu. And Lord, we give thanks and praise as we lift up the testimonial from this COVID season, Bobby in Michigan, Julius and Betty in Uganda, the Beach family, the Cleveland family. Thank you for your healing upon their lives, the Wellington family. Lord, we lift all this up to you knowing that you provide in ways that we cannot even fathom. Bless each and every one this evening. Give them the hashkivenu rest of peace and shalom of completeness, wholeness, and fill their tomorrows with the newness of your life your light, and your love. Amen.